This man has been up on this show a lot of times. And yep. I, you know, sometimes, HV, when, when we know we got a lot of guests coming on through yeah. the week. Yeah. I, I'm not ex as excited for some as I am others. I get that. You know, um, and no disrespect to the, you will no. never know the ones I'm not excited about. Yeah. So it, it doesn't matter. It's part of the game. It's part of the game. You know, you go through it. <laughs> But whenever I know that this man is coming up, and I usually know weeks in advance, I get excited for mm -hmm. the opportunity. I don't. I know I'm not. I'm not going to lose sleep thinking about damn who's coming on the show tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> right. You're excited to get up. I'm excited, but I'm also mm -hmm. excited because the first time we met was on a um, panel discussion, I believe, in uh, Fayetteville. Fayetteville. Yeah. And we were speaking at this camp at, at, the, at his, my school at his alma mater, mm -hmm. and I don't know. We made we had a connection then, and it was really kind of rooted in. B-boy culture. Oh, wow. Facts. No, no, we met with Ivan. That's where we first met. B-boy Ivan? Yeah, B-boy Ivan. From Style Elements? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, B-boy Ivan. This is when I first moved to L.A. This is like 98, 99. He was staying at your crib for the weekend for a jam. Yeah. And I dropped him off at your crib. That's when we in Tarzana? First... Yes. That was you? That was me. Stupid. That was I know Slay ain't crazy. Feed you. That's what this we way first. let you in. This way let you in. Now? No, we sit outside. Okay, we sit outside. okay. Yeah. just to be clear. It was a, it was a, look, it's one of them slow gates to just let you know that this opulence behind this gate, yeah. and it yep. move it like two miles per hour. Yeah. And Sway just stood there until it went all the way to the right, and then he walked out. I was like, "All right, what's going on? Yeah, good to meet you too, fam." <laughs> okay, this is Sway. I was like, "Yo, this is Sway from Sway and Tech." Like I was starstruck, like crazy. But um, yeah, that's when we first met. That's when we first met. Yeah. And then <laughs> Ivan, this guy he's talking about, the human action figure, B Boy Ivan, is one of the most illest. Break ever. breakers yeah. they ever you know get in a circle ever. and uh ivan was supposed to stay the weekend and he never left yeah he does that what i didn't know look so that's why i was dropping him <laughs> off at your house because oh, oh. he was he he was crashing at my uncle's house and i was i was crashing at my uncle's house so i was like dude i can't have my uncle can't have two guests crashing you can't compete for that really? couch yeah, nah <laughs> <laughs> so, saying the two bunk celly. Yo, yo, facts. <laughs> I even saw that house, man. We couldn't get him out. Yeah. And then one day we came home and he was gone. Mm. And I didn't see him for years. And he don't have no phone. Like <laughs> he's he's like David Banner uh, from the, the Incredible Hope. <laughs> he just he's a nomad. He's a nomad. Mm. Okay. But well, anyway, so that's, that's when we, we first met. met. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow. History. Gave, this it, is we've history been connected right ever since, but I had I I didn't know when we first met how talented this man is easily. And I'm not just saying this because he's in my face. I've said it when he wasn't. I think he's one of the most multifaceted, talented people in entertainment today. I want to welcome him to the show again. The one and only Atheon Crockett hey! is here. Hey, Thank you. And he's yes. Jason. It's always love here. Always yes. love. Always yeah. love here. And he's not alone. We're here to talk about um, his new movie. It's called A Hip Hop Story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's an independent film. Mm -hmm. It's written and produced by him. It'll be shown in a select AMC theaters on the 23rd this Friday. They are doing it independently. And when I say they, I talk about another man who's a beat boy at the core of his heart. Mm -hmm. All right. Radcliffe. The main Radcliffe. The main Radcliffe, ladies Radcliffe. and gentlemen. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Now, let me give y'all some history about the main Radcliffe, right? Please do. If you saw the movie Step Up, yes. uh -huh. he's Channing Tatum's friend in the movie Step Up. Right. He was also one of the basketball players in Glory Road. So okay. he's an actor. He's But but he's he got his start here in New York City. He's from the Bronx, the birthplace. And hmm. on the street with K Mel and all them dancing. What? Yeah, Times Square, all that. T tell your story, Jermaine. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta, <laughs> tell your story. <laughs> Thank you, Adrian. Thank you, Adrian. Right for that wonderful I know, introduction. He jumped in that intro, but that was great. Yo. Man. <laughs> Boogie Down Bronx. Boogie Down Bronx. Wow, right there. Crazy. Yankee Stadium, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Grew up BMX biking and break dancing. That was my life. Wow. And basketball. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Yeah. Man. When did it turn to the world of theater? You know what? When I was in the third grade, I was in third grade, and a, a friend of mine, Jason, he was he was he was in a commercial on mm -hmm. TV one day, and I got to school the next day, and all the girls was like, "Jason was on TV! Oh my god!" <laughs> and I'm in the back looking like, mm. Mm. "So is the girls." Yeah. Mm. I went home. I said, "Mom, I want to be on TV." TV. <laughs> the said, girls is that gas. My mom was like, "No, yeah. you're not being on TV. No." Huh. I was like, "She was like, when you get older, and um, you know, you're old enough to make decisions on your right. own, then you can jump into that world." So. So how did, now we know how Sway and Atheon first connected. How did you two first connect then? We met on our friend Alfonso McCauley's, uh, we did a short film with him. 
Yeah. And and me and him just started, we was just cracking jokes on set. And then he was like, yo, I got a YouTube channel. I was like, I got a YouTube channel. Yep. And I went to his page and he had rap parodies also. He's oh. the first person I saw that he did a <laughs> fabulous joint. Uh, he did Freeway. He Way back then, he you was already doing yeah. What year did you start doing Freeway? Because you so, do them in this movie. Yeah, yeah. so I, I started working. So after I got out of high school, was, I'm talking 2001. I got Wait, my can job. you do it? Ask it. Freeway. Can you answer this question? Ask Freeway. <laughs> mm, yep. Welcome to the show. Early. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> so I, I I got a job at Rockefeller Records. Mm-hmm. I was the videographer. I was the cameraman for Rockefeller for years, wow. and I followed I followed these guys around the world. Dame, you know, shout out to Claudie B for getting me that job because I was just a guy around the block filming everything. You know mm. what I mean? And um. At the time, I was just filming the Harlem Shakers. That's when the Harlem Shake first started to get this real impact in Harlem. Yeah. So what, what year around, is that? What year is this around is that? Two ninety nine. Ninety nine. Two thousand. Okay. You know what I mean? And okay. I was filming these guys, and then Tone Hooker from Original Flavor was like, "Hey, Damon needs a cameraman to follow him around and just sort of document everything that's happened." Right. And um, they brought me in, and I Dame saw some of my stuff. He was like, "Yo, could you start right now?" So I said, all right, I can start right now. And then the first day I was there at Rockefeller, they snapped on me like for about four hours. Oh, gosh. Killing me. Uh huh. So, Why? Four hours. Well, that was the initiation. That was just, that was just the initiation it's with it's all their friends. That's just kind of how they were do, at the you gotta, time. You got to you know take that mean? heat. You got to yeah. take that heat. And, uh, mm. But that's not back. You know what I mean? I come from, I'm from the Bronx. You know, we, yeah. we go in. So, um, you know, that was the initiation. And then when I was there, I started meeting all the artists there. Like all the artists, you know, Young Gun, State Prop, all these guys. And I was like, I saw Freeway come in, and I, I've never seen a, uh, an artist like that. Like, i never seen the beard and the whole Philly thing. I'd never seen that before. So I went home, and I was like, oh, yeah, I got to do something. And then I started doing that character then. So I would make video, parody videos, and I would come to the office, and I would show everybody, and they would be in there, like, dying. Just like, oh, my God, what is this? Right. And you so, did the Cameron joint back then, too. You did. You were one of the first people that did a Cameron spoof, and it went viral. Oh, yeah. Way well, back you, then. You got a viral. Cam impersonation? No, it's not an impersonation. It's it, was, a it was the rhyme it was, pattern. It was a commercial oh. for, it was a... Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Domain, <laughs> just do it. <laughs> But it wasn't it was oh, an impersonation. Oh, okay. It was a, it was a I was t- I, He's not as as comfortable in the impersonations as I am. We yeah, he, he's, he's more he has to prepare. He's the actor. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? All right. Okay. We trying yeah. to get to know him. Yeah. yeah. All right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Welcome I'm not to the morning initiation. I mean, I to, see, yeah. for me it's just yeah. I just go right there. It's not even a problem. <laughs> you know. Hey. It's whatever. <laughs> I, know, I heard he was talking about Rockefeller, yeah, so I was yeah. just like, you know, yeah. he's talking about my company. Yeah. That was, <laughs> oh I started God. that, you know. You I started that? that like I started rap. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on my head like a starter cap. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Just, I loved like, you at the Grammys. That was a terrific speech you gave. I appreciate you. You got to just keep showing up. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep, keep showing up until they give you the accolades. He says accolades. <laughs> you got to keep showing up until they give you the accolades that yeah. you deserve, until they call you genius you just got to keep showing up <laughs> oh wow atheon crockett is here that's so good yo so good. um Stupid. We, 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 we watched um you since the mid 90s bro yes sir. I, was, I was talking to a friend of mine that i work with and um we we helped uh, king tech and i helped her launch her um, talent agency back in the 90s okay called britmo and they used to, I was talking to her last night. I was like, yo, Atheon Crockett coming on the show. I just watched the movie. Yeah. And she's like, yo, we was, we used to cast him. Um, Brit Mo Entertainment. Do you recall? Monisha and Harine. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. D- you, you, way <laughs> wow. back. Yeah. Yeah. And so wow. I'm saying. Harim is such a, a, a unique name. You don't yeah. forget it. You yeah. don't forget yeah. it. Yeah. And so I was just putting the math together. That was in the mid-90s, 2024. You're doing your, this is a total independent project. Total. I'm always an advocate of us doing it ourselves. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Keeping the ownership, the, you know, owning the IP, the proprietorship, sure. all of those different things. Is this a project that you decided to go independent or did you pitch it first? I did pitch it first. So okay. I wrote it in 2008. Let me okay. just get a backstory. I wrote it in 2008. You hear that? 16 years ago. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. All right. So 2008. I had this this whole idea to do a, a, a tribute to hip hop, right? Mm-hmm. It the original name was Streets is Itching, mm-hmm. and it was it was basically saying Streets is Itching for that real flavor to come back, that real hip hop, and it's from an old head perspective, obviously, right? But it's still a love letter to say, look, we we 
can't keep pointing fingers saying who's messing hip hop up or whatever. It's just what it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and we we got to unify to get that uni- unity that we used to feel back in the eighties when 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 it started. So anyway, long story short, I, I got to. 2024 pitched it a couple times. I had a couple people that said, "Yeah, I want to put some money up." I had different directors that really wanted to do it, like Malcolm Lee and Tim Story, my guys. Um, but timing and just it just didn't work out. But it worked out for 50th anniversary. Mm-hmm. Me and hip hop turned 50 a day apart. Oh, okay. so wow! It was celebrating wow. me and really hip hop at the same time. I'm really hip hop baby. Damn, I'm really hip hop really baby, hip-hop. right? Yeah. Um, and so yeah. Being able, be, being that I wrote it in 2008, I had to update some of the references. So that's right. why you see Joe Budden in there. You see, yeah. you know what I mean, uh, uh, Funk Flex. Um, and, yeah, just updating some of the references and the characters. Uh, the, the the face mask Kanye yeah. is in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you ain't got the answer, Sway. Oh, shit, but, uh, I just had a trauma. <laughs> that's a flashback PTSD? right there. Oh, my God. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Trigger. Yeah, look, 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 he triggered me right there. Okay. I know, right? Yeah. I, but, I, yeah, so I, going to, yeah. we did pitch it before, and people just didn't understand it. I would get horrible notes on the movie. Like mm-hmm. what? Man, what would they say? Oh, we shouldn't do the flashback scene. It's too much flashback in the beginning. And I'm like, how else are you going to tell the story if you don't go back to, right. the, to the roots mm-hmm. and, and show the nostalgia of it all Yeah. in the, in the outfits? Like, if y'all seen it, so y'all understand what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool Herc. Like we really want to get the big speakers and the and the white convertible and have him in the park mm-hmm. and just kind of get a, a sense video of what clip. that yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Um Cool Mo D versus Busy B. Yeah, I saw that. When yeah, lyricism right. first took over hip hop. You yes. know what I mean? When party DJing and lyricism, there was a line of demarcation that was drawn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to depict that and, and Domain played Cool Mo D on that one. Yeah. Um you 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 danced a little more than Mo D did back in the day, but I like how you played him. <laughs> 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 Facts. Facts. And so yeah, we, we just went through that that flashback, which I felt was necessary to see um, you know, Hammer and Salt and Pepper, Big Daddy Kane, and just specific people that we knew we can convincingly portray. Yeah. Early Fresh Prince. Mm. Um, and then bring it up to today and then now, you know, you just have this whole world of today and seeing some things are a little misaligned with hip hop. Yeah. And misaligned with the culture. So it starts out as the the mirrors on hip hop. And then it expands into no black culture. We all need to heal ourselves. Mm-hmm. Yes. And if we heal ourselves, hip hop is going to follow suit. So that's really the message of the movie. I love that. Atheon Crockett is here. Yes. The main oh. Radcliffe is here. Let me ask you this, because um, we always are proponents of do it yourself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In this business, you gonna you know how many things I had go through MTV that when it first started it was looked like this and we're excited yeah. and by the time it went through that Viacom filter, it diluted. I'd even recognize the project no mm, more. Wow. Yeah. But my name is still on it. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And now you gotta represent it and try yeah. to represent it with pride. Mm-hmm. Same thing that happened with my Fox show. It's the same, same exact thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. They took wow. it through the Fox grinder. Listen, man, I had to explain to these people who Drake and Manny Pacquiao was. Oh no. Are you kidding me? I had to explain that to them. So that's when I knew it was over. Yeah. You know Drake what I mean? And Manny Pacquiao to I the- don't know who is who. You want to do a parody of what? Of who? Who is Manny Pacquiao? I was like, wow. And at the time, he was that guy. That's right when him and when Floyd, Floyd were was, talking about getting yeah. down. Mm-hmm. So I understand. You, so you're saying that you know? Well, but I'm just I'm I'm I want to hear your story because we don't. I like to hear the behind the scenes what you went through to get to. I think it's important that people know that you arrived at this place, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and then yeah. what what did you, what would you say are the benefits? Because I think we as a culture got us. We got to start taking. I mean, work with other folks when it when, right. yeah, at some point perhaps when yeah. it makes sense and right. you you're in a position of leverage right. where you don't have to have the creative part being morphed by somebody who doesn't understand where you're coming mm-hmm. from. But the benefits mm-hmm. of you all doing it yourselves right. and you're mm-hmm. talking yeah. and imagine yeah. you're talking to a room full of up and coming directors, mm-hmm. filmmakers, actors, or people mm-hmm. who got the door shut. What would be the benefits you would discuss with them? We made the movie that we wanted to make. Okay. No dilution. To your mm-hmm. point, mm-hmm. it didn't have to filter through no executives, no bad notes. It was me and him. And mm-hmm. Charlie Mack every now and then. Like, Charlie hey, Mack you, is you gotta, in the building. Charlie the building Mack. Mack. legend is in there. Charlie Mack. So Charlie, Charlie was like a big yeah. kid on set. He was so in the nostalgia of the hip hop world because he lived it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he was just like, man, this is really, he, he just had his phone out the whole time. He's like, yo, guys, <laughs> guys, you should try this. You should try this. <laughs> so we made the movie that we love. We're all hip hop babies. Yeah. We're all hip hop fans. And we did not have to sacrifice anything. We got the cast we wanted. Mm-hmm. We, we wrote the script that we wanted. And I'm financing it. 
This is stand up tour money. This way. We, really? we own it. Stand up tour money. They two, own right, it. These two black wow. men right here own this. They own film, it. This IP. So, you know, so look, I'm going yeah. to give you the full breakdown. I financed it with stand up tour money. Okay. Went to him. He had cameras that he owned, drones, resources, wow. DPs. He had the crew. And he's a very smart filmmaker. He's, he directed the movie. So, we put, the, we put our resources on top of the table. And we did our business together and was like, look, man, let's just do it. We have fun doing these things. We've been doing it since YouTube. I have the capital now to do it. Mm -hmm. Let's just get it done. And that's what we have now. So people see the movie now. They see the trailer and they just expect or they, they think that it's or they assume it's a big studio movie. And they're like, why isn't it in the theater near my house? And mm -hmm. when is this going to be on Netflix and all that? We are literally slinging it out to Trump. Like, this is our movie. There's no yeah. studio. There's no bigger production company behind it. It's me and him. That's it. That's it. And this is this is, this is is crazy right here. So w the opening of the movie. So I, I flew out to New York and um, and got a lot of uh, B-roll shots. Mm -hmm. So we shot in L.A., but I went to really get that authentic look. I went to the Bronx. I went to the park. I went to, you know, all through the boroughs just to, to give it, it that feel authentic New York. feel, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I brought my drone out. <laughs> big okay. drone about the size of this desk and I went to Dumbo and I flew that drone over to get all the shots I said you know what I want to open up and give it that nostalgic feel you remember how uh, New Jack City opened yeah, up yeah, with yeah. the bridge you had MC that? Light in the Ooh. background oh my gosh yeah well, so we gotta tell no, that no, story. but this is the thing I opened it up I want to open up to feel like how New Jack City felt when you really hear the music and yeah, you just hear the yeah. credits two minutes ago we just who we run into Mario, Mario Van, Van Peebles, Peebles. Just now, oh, and did you oh, yeah. Mario Jack right City. in the hallway. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's up God. next. Serendip yeah. yeah, look, yeah. serendipity. Divine, yes. Come on, we That's might crazy. have to bring him in, and and I had to thank him. Talk. I thanked yeah. him in the hallway just That's now. Dope. I thanked him and his father for yeah. giving filmmakers like us a chance to do what we do. Black mm. filmmakers. Yeah, his father is the OG of that. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we had. I, yeah. I'm, I'm always paying homage. You know, I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, showed the love to to those that that you know paved the way. Yeah. Um. That scene is exactly what I thought of. That opening scene, and then yeah. MC Light is—is is that paper thin? What song? Is so it? check this out. Okay, <laughs> MC Light is an angel. We know her as the hip hop legend, the mm -hmm. MC that that she is, the icon that she is. But she and I have been working together on some on some projects, and we were sitting around the studio, and I said, I said, Light, man, we having some problems with licensing music because I'm pay again, we're paying out of pocket. So having to license music. We were only able to license one song in that movie. Y'all heard all the music, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We only had enough money to license one song, It's Just Begun by Jimmy Casterbunch Ugh. for wow. the cool hurt scene. We just played that last. The B-Boys know. Look, the B-Boys know that song. You gonna start stop rocking to that joint. That's the quintessential. Damn, you almost. Right, sorry. Sorry. Hold it for later. Just hold it for later. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Mm. Look at that beat drop. Hey, hey, hey. Woo. All right, you can talk over this. Second time today. <laughs> All, right. All right. So, yeah, we had enough money to license that one. Um, everything else, we just called in favors. Yeah, so, we wow. got Easy Mo B did beats in this movie. Mo B got beats. I see you, Easy Mo, Mo B. B. Come on. Fred Rose Star, Damn, he's in the movie. And he's in the movie, that's right. But he did m multiple beats. He uh -huh. sent me just a folder of stuff. He said, man, use what you got to use. Dem Joints, one of mm -hmm. Dre's guys. Mm -hmm. Focus, three Focus, dot. one of Dre's guys. one of Dre's guys. Shout, Shout out, out Ron guys. Browse for Ron coming Browse. through for the culture. Yeah, that's my boy good. Devin O'Bannon, one of my, my young homies. Um, MC Light, we're working in the studio. I said, Light, we're, we're trying to find an opening song, right? We, wanna, we want something that's hip-hop. I said, yo, do you own Paper Thin? She says, I, it reverts back to me. I own half of it. She said, but I would redo it for you if you could find somebody who can convincingly redo the, the, the track. Yeah. I called Focus. That's it right there. I called Focus. Focus is like, man, I'd love to do that. I got you. He played everything live, but it sounds just like the Prince sound. Yeah. yeah. And, and she went and re-recorded. I was in the studio with her. Wow. She re-recorded the song for me oh, yeah. and gave me the opening tag. Let me tell y'all a little hip-hop story. Story, yeah. story. So we got an iconic voice from hip-hop opening up our movie because MC Light was gracious enough to say, I want to help these these guys out to, to, to add that flavor to the movie. So... Wow. I'm forever indebted to MC Light. She is the queen, Woo! and it's crazy because the way she redid the vocals. So I'm, you know, I'm listening with my hip hop ear. Yeah. Yo, she. I almost think she did them better than the first time. Yo, she bodied. <laughs> like, I was, I, I was there. 
you was there. Yo, <laughs> I was, I was there. like, listen, like, yeah. she, she, her timing, the aggressive, mm-hmm. the tone. Listen, man, I, I got to say, she, Oof. and Heather, I, I know you can attest to this. A lot of times women in rap get the stigma of they don't write their rhymes, right? We've always heard that, yeah. right? Until you get around a Heather B and a light mm-hmm. and you see Light be in that phone, da da da, and she starts spitting. Hey, what do you think of this? And she starts. She is a better MC today than than back then. Wow. She's she's a more developed and comfortable. Uh huh. She went in that booth, man, and did that that paper thin like with the swag too. She didn't even have to think about it. She was like, da 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 da. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Crazy. And I was sitting there like a little kid, like just a fan, but you know. That's Shout out dope. to Light. Man, come on. AP Crockett is here. On, uh, Domaine Radcliffe, they're both here. Well, you got to see this. And his story, I wanted him to tell his story and you tell your story because mm-hmm. you all are a hip hop story manifested. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and, and and I think that's incredible. The the You know, you the whole movie, you're in character as uh, Roscoe, Roscoe Simons. Simons, which is uh, the alternative <laughs> of Russell so Simmons. Uh-huh. Is he here today, Roscoe? Is Roscoe here today? I mean, you, you know, you know, I'm, I'm everywhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got a fancy resort in Bali, you know. Bali? Yeah. I'm here. You know? You've accomplished a lot, Roscoe, in your lot career. Can you just give us a litany of some of the things you, that you're most proud of? Spell litany. How you spell it? <laughs> just L I T A N M I. Yeah. Is that like Whitney Houston? Like litany? Litany? <laughs> yeah, she had a sister. So, anyway, you know, I, I'm a billionaire, and so, you know, if I do yoga, I eat leaves. <laughs> you know what? Get out. <laughs> Get out now. Hey, Grace. Had to be. Stop it, okay? You, you would have a great time if you came over. To, and eat, eat, a leaf, to eat a leaf with you? Yes, eat a leaf. <laughs> Wait, why y'all you didn't know? sign Heather to Def Jam? You could have signed Heather to... I ain't well be so what's the name of your company is Def? No, nigga. No, he- he- Heather B. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want to sign with me. She was too much of a star. <laughs> I tried. You know, that I tried. I tried right. to get her. I, I was tried busy. to get her. I was doing <laughs> the real world. <laughs> exactly. She was, like, she was making the just... MTV money, nigga. <laughs> you know what what's going on with your knee, bro? So, what are you talking about? I'm just comfortable. I'm just, I'm just stretching. <laughs> I'm just stretching. I bet you Russell could yeah. do a split. You guys have it really hot in here. Yep, yep, yep. It feels like Bali. <laughs> it's really humid, you know? Yep, yep. You guys can grow, like, uh, seaweed in here. <laughs> Roscoe, Roscoe Simons, Yo, what, what do you think the state, of, the state of hip-hop is now? It's fucking amazing. <laughs> you know? After, after you know, you see the movie, you understand that we saved it. That's why it's fucking amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm one of hip hop heroes. Not only one of the pioneers, but I'm also the hero. Okay, I saved the day. Okay. Did you, did you ever work with Puff? Back, what was it like working with Puff? What was that like for you? He, he's one of my, he's my little brother. You know, what I'm saying he copied everything I did. <laughs> Holding line, you know. I didn't do the alcohol, you know. That thing he did that, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I don't dance. I don't do none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But, but fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? He's one of my little brothers. You know that, that little Man. nigga would not puff would not be a puff if it was not me. You know, he followed everything I did. You know, he just copied oh, me. So wait, can you imagine every day on set having to deal with? with this? <laughs> Yo, every hey, day. Um, but Heather Come and I were talking about it, and I was yeah. telling Heather. I was thinking of the Nutty Professor when yeah. when Eddie Murphy did wow. it, revealed all of yep. those different characters, yeah. and we were yeah. like, "What the fuck?" That's the vibe exactly. I was getting when I was watching this movie. A hip hop story, by the way, is in AMC theaters near you, yeah. February twenty third. Yeah, this Friday and Saturday. Yeah. This, listen, it's only gonna be in the theater for a week unless we do Gangbusters numbers. So y'all gotta support it. This is a movie for the people, yes. by the people. The people have to not be lazy on this one. Y'all been emailing me and DMing, mm-hmm. saying. Y'all been reposting like crazy saying y'all want this movie, but y'all got to understand it's really important for y'all to go support these movies. Don't just wait around for it to come to streaming because it may not come to streaming or it will come to streaming, but don't wait. If you want to get the experience of a hip-hop story with the music, you got to sit in the theater. It's not the same as watching it on your phone or on your your tablet or whatever. You got to feel that music. Every time we, we screened it, the people were in the, the theater nodding their head and like, mm-hmm. it was an experience, yeah. like being at a oh, concert, right. you know what I mean? And they was cheering at the end. Well, I'm not gonna say what the end song was, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, I but know. at the end of that song, when when that scene is over, it's cheering in the audience. So it's a different, it's a different level when you go to the theater. 
Congratulations yes. to, to both, both of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. Jermaine Radcliffe, mm-hmm. uh, Kelly Jackson, and I had just uh, we sat yeah. on the phone. Shout out about to Kelly. Happy yeah. birthday, Kels. Happy yeah, birthday. man, you're a good dude. She told me you always y'all always stay in touch, and Kelly always championing you. But we we talked for about an hour and pondered like, Jesus, man, this dude is really talented, and I Crazy. can't wait for what's next for you, Atheon Crockett. Come on, congratulations. Brother. I'm yeah, proud congrats. of you. In so many Thank ways. You, Sway. Yo, man, we upholding this shit. Yeah, we, brother. We come from the core of this shit. No, we really do. We really and do. And that's what this movie is about it's about people like me and you mm. who really embody this all of y'all y'all mm-hmm. this is a hip-hop show mm-hmm. and y'all have done so well with keeping the spirit of of sway and tech mm-hmm. y'all had mm-hmm. some of the earliest mm-hmm. freestyle guys you Early. know what I mean? from nas biggie like y'all had planet asia planet which is like one of our favorite mcs Come from the on. west um y'all have always preserved the culture yeah because you are the culture so mm-hmm. you can't fake that you can't we, fake it. We can tell when somebody's posing, and you can tell when somebody is just really of that fabric. Mm-hmm. So thank you for who you are to the culture and always inviting me up. But just just who you are every yeah. day, you represent that. And you have the, the people that you have sitting in, the, in these chairs are legendary, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, and they yeah. want to come to talk to you because yeah. of what you represent. Thank you, man. Let's Shit, go, man. if you always, man, I'm about and to cry. Accurate. Yeah, uh, well, it's thank facts. you, Tracy. Now, I appreciate you, brother. And I, and I look at you and knowing where we come from and what we've been able to accomplish over the, I obviously started before you, but to, I've been watching you for this long and it's amazing, yeah. man. You can do it your way. You can do it your way, citizens. 100%. You can do it your way. You don't have to compromise yourselves, uh, your principles, your integrity. You can do it your way. And if you got a thousand percent faith in yourself, whether you make it yeah. monetarily or not or, or uh, uh, visually or not, you will make it eventually. It will come. Absolutely. And it may be a longer road. Yeah. Right. Don't get discouraged. Right. Uh-huh. It may be a longer road, but you can do it without compromising any parts of yourself. Mm-hmm. And that's my story. A I hip-hop story. I sleep, a hip-hop <laughs> story. <laughs> there it is. I sleep peacefully at night. You understand me? Amen. Absolutely. Atheon Crockett, thank you for coming by. Demain Radcliffe, congratulations. congratulations. Thanks for having We need the citizens to support a hip-hop story in theaters this Friday. And Saturday. AMC. And Saturday. AMC. Friday and Saturday. AMC. Search a hip-hop story in the AMC app or online and see which theaters near you. We got 159 theaters around the nation. 